Well, hello, and welcome to a new video. I feel like I cannot even <laughs> introduce this video normally. Um, let's just get right into it. I messed up my hair badly. I don't know if you can really tell, actually. I, if, never mind. Um, today, I'm going to film a quick uh, little get ready with me, and I'm going to talk to you about this mess and also what I have planned for the next uh, few days. So let's go. All right, I'm still gonna pin this. I, I honestly, I didn't even bother trying to do anything special with my hair because I'm like, no, I, there's no point. There's no salvaging what's going on on my head. So here's the story. Um, I had, when was that? I think it, it was in March. Um, I dyed my hair, uh, brown, well, not brown, like a, a chocolate brown. And it had a bit of like, not red, but ma mahogany, like kind of red reflects in it. Um, it was very pretty. My hair was already, had been dyed months before that brown as well. Uh, my natural hair color is now completely gone, but I'm a very, very dark uh, blonde, basically. Um, so yeah, in March I did that to my hair and the color already faded a lot. If you go back to watching one of my previous videos, you might see, I still have a bit of brown in my hair. Uh, you can see that there's my natural color, just like my roots are like, well, like this, you can still see them. So you can definitely, you could definitely see my roots, but I mean, it wasn't that bad. And um, like I said, because the, the color had faded a lot. And so I, I think it was last weekend, it, kind of on a whim, which I should have known it was a bad idea. Um, I felt the need for some reason to change up my hair. I thought, you know what? It's summer. I'm in the mood to be a bit more blonde. <sighs> I Clearly, I didn't think this through. <laughs> so... Was it two days ago? Yeah, so it's right now it's Thursday, so it was Tuesday. Um, my goddaughter came over because she's always the one uh, doing my hair. She's 16 and I don't know, it's a, we always have a fun time doing that together. It's always an adventure and like a question mark. Oh, how is it going to turn out? And I mean, I know when you buy box dye in your supermarket and you do it yourself in your kitchen it's of course it's not gonna be as good as a hairdresser but I have done this a few times before and every time it was fine it was completely fine I mean it was brown not blonde but it was fine and honestly I just as much as I want to support local businesses I can't, I can't afford going to the hairdresser. I mean, it just, no, no. Um, so yeah, on Tuesday, my goddaughter came over and we did my hair with a boxed um, hair dye. It was blonde, like really blonde. Um, now in my head, I was actually joking about it with her where I was like, well, what comes to worse? Like, it's just going to be green because I'm going on a vacation uh, soon, which I'll talk about later. Um, and I know that sometimes, you know, with the sun and the chlorine, like it can have your, yeah, it can react, react in a weird way. But for me, really, the worst thing that could have happened in my head was that it wasn't going to be actually very blonde. You know, I figured because you always have on the box, you have like different shades of, of hair color and then the results you're going to have depending on what hair color you have. And by looking at those images on the box, I was like, you know what? I'm probably not going to be as blonde as I, as, as I would hope for. But that was it. 
you know, I, I honestly, truly, truly thought that the worst thing that could have happened was just this not really working that well and not seeing that big of a difference. Boy, was I wrong. Look at me now. So like I said, um, I had, and you could see, you can see them quite well now. There's places where it's actually worse. Um, I had about this much um, of my roots showing where it was my natural hair color and then the rest of my hair, even though the dye had faded a little bit, it was still on there. So I guess the mistake that we, we made that I honestly, I should, should have thought about it, but you know, that's what happens when you're not a professional is that we put, we did it the same way we always do. And so we start with the roots and then we work the product through the hair. What we should have done, and maybe that would have helped a little bit. What we should have done is start with the hair and then leave it on the roots just a little bit. Because here's the thing, my roots were my actual hair with no dye, no nothing on them. And so the blonde took very well, very, very well. Like it got to my hair right away. Whereas the rest of my hair and my, my length, if you will, um, well, the product had to push through the rest of the brown dye that was still in here. And so it just, you see now a huge difference where my roots are like, like almost orange. <laughs> this is awful. And the rest of my hair, yes, it's a little bit lighter than it used to be, but you see such a different in tone and in color between my roots and the rest of my hair. It's a mess. And honestly, I mean, the color in itself is wrong. Like it's, it's, it's a little more Venetian blonde than what I would have hoped, but the color in itself, I feel like I could have, I could have made my peace with this because at the end of the day, you know, it's a little golden, it's summer, it's fine. And like I said, I feel like it kind of, it fades eventually. So the color being slightly off in my opinion, that's fine. I can make my peace with it. The biggest issue, like I said, is that huge difference, not only in the deepness of the color, but even of the tone. Because like I said before, you could see a difference, um, a smaller difference between my roots and my lengths. But like you could, you could see a little bit of it, but I feel like it was less like, whoa, crazy. Here, it's like, it's not even that part is lighter. It's like th this part is, is this weird color and then the rest of my hair, I, it's awful. <laughs> it's just honestly kind of awful. And then all around here, I don't know if you can tell, then here you see my natural color because smart me thought, oh, you know what? I'm gonna put Vaseline around my hairline to not have any stains. Well, I would have rather had stains because the Vaseline prevented the dye to get to my hair, I guess. I, it's just, it's just a really bad uh, hair dye job. Uh, and it's not my goddaughter's fault, definitely not. Like, like I said, we should have thought about it. Oh man, we had a good laugh though. Like that night, that Tuesday night, when we were in the bathroom, even before I rinsed my hair, like we could see, like we looked at this part and we were like, oh my God, the color is, what is going on? It's like orange, it's weird. Um, but you know, we're still hopeful, like, okay, we're gonna rinse it out and see what happens. Um, we rinsed it and then I, I blew dry my hair <laughs> and we were both like, uh oh, what do we do now? Um, so another fun fact is that 
I have to go to wedding on Saturday, which I know it's, it's, it's so, so smart of me to try something new on my hair. Just like what, four or five days before going to a wedding. That was a real, real smart move there, Emily. Very good. Uh, so yeah, when, um, when it was over, I, I did, I tried not to freak out and I tried to kind of laugh a little bit about it. And then I was like, oh wait, we have that wedding on Saturday. What the hell? Like it's, it's with my family. It's, I mean, I'm sure my cousins are going to make fun of me, but I mean, we always make fun of each other. We love each other. Like, I don't really care that much, but I mean, still, you know, when you go to a wedding and you have a nice outfit and nice makeup and you just want to look good, you want to feel good about yourself. And I, 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 I don't think I can. I mean, I feel good about myself, generally speaking, but that definitely like, mm, it's not helping. So yeah, when I, when I thought about that wedding again, I was like, oh wait, it's a wedding. What am I going to do? I started not freaking out, but yeah, I started getting a little, ooh, a little skeptical and a little like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Like, this is actually really bad by the time we finished uh the dye job it was i think it was like 5 30 or 6 at night something like that and i thought <laughs> you know we we thought about it and i was like well the store is still open so i could go and and buy another one and try to fix this but then i was like okay then what do i do do i get another one of the same dye and just not touch my roots and put it all on my lengths to try to have the color matching or do I try a darker shade like go back to more of a brown to kind of hide the mess I just I honestly I didn't quite know what to do and so I just thought you know what this is the first night just wait and and see what happens just sleep on it whatever I didn't film that day I was like, no, I can't, I cannot look at myself filming for an hour and then look at myself <laughs> what I edit for an hour. I was like, mm -mm, no, no, I, I can't. So yeah, I went to bed on Tuesday not feeling my best. And I woke up on Wednesday not feeling my best either. I was, I had a, a moment where I was like, oh my God, I'm just, so so full of regrets right now and i was looking at older videos or pictures i don't remember and i was like I, that was fine why did i want to do this like my hair was fine oh my god so yeah i was in a kind of a bad mood um i i managed to snap out of it though um which you know it's something that it's really not an easy thing to do. I feel like I'm just going on a tangent here. Um, when you're not feeling that great, regardless of the reason, I mean, granted, this was, it's not the end of the world. You know, it's not a big deal. I'm not gonna say like, oh my God, my God, I have problem because my hair looks weird. Like, no, it's not an actual problem. Um, but either way, for whatever reason that may be, when you're feeling down, I feel like picking yourself up and trying to motivate you and reassure you and not just not just lie to yourself and be like, I'm fine, I'm fine. You know what I mean? And actually you're not, but really, truly feel better and feel fine. Like that's hard to do, but I managed to do it. So, um, yeah, I did. I pick myself up. I was like, you know what? It's fine. It's not the end of the world, like I said. So what I decided to do, because at first I was like, what am I, you know, am I, like I said, am I going to have to do another dye job? But it's not really good for your hair to do, you know, two of them within a few days. Like that's, just, that's, it's all going to fall down. Um, so what I figured that I was going to do for the next few days, and that's what I've been doing yesterday and today, is that I 
wash my hair every day. That way, hopefully, the color will fade a little sooner. That's kind of what happens anyway, so I'm trying to kind of speed that process. I saw my, my best friend yesterday, and um, before she came and picked me up, I we talked on the phone, and I was like, just so you know, I messed up my hair. Do not make any comment on it, or I'm gonna cry. Um, so I got into, into the car and she looked at me and I looked at her and I was laughing honestly by that time like I said I was feeling better I was realizing like okay it's not that big of a deal it's all gonna leave eventually um and I was like don't say anything and she told me she was like well it's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be because on the phone I was like oh my god like you're not gonna believe this so yeah she told me she kind of had a similar problem at one point it wasn't so much um the difference between her roots and her length it was just generally speaking i think the color that was a little off at first and she told me that it kind of dissipated you know after a while um and when i told her about my you know my method of just you know i'm just gonna wash them every day hoping to make this go away faster she thought it was um it was gonna help and she told me she's not a hairdresser either but like i'm just any opinion will do uh when i mentioned to her that you know worst case scenario if in a few days i realize that no this is definitely not working i cannot look like this i hate it um i it's not changing anything me washing them and i cannot <laughs> spend another minute like that then I will just go back and buy another dye and when I told her that she told me that if that's what I decided to do um then I should get a brown or I mean a, a deeper uh dye than what I have she was like apparently it's like a rule I don't know if that's true but I like I said I'm gonna trust her uh, it's kind of like a rule where you mess up a dye job, you just go darker on top of it, and that kind of, kind of saves the day. But anyway, I'm just uh, gonna do my eyes very quickly using the uh, Melody palette by Zoeva, which I love, and I will be right back. anyway that's that's it for my hair um adventures like i said i'm just i'm just gonna continue washing it and just wait and see and hope for the best basically this is my technique um let's see what else did i have to mention um so yeah so like i said on saturday going to my cousin's wedding which I'm very excited for because I haven't seen we haven't been like our family like all together it's on my, my dad's side we haven't been all together in such a long time and it's so not like us because we're used to like doing a, bu a bunch of things um all together um we spend christmas together uh well, christmas eve uh we even have a family weekend usually um during the summer where we all meet um 
like we rent something and we spend a weekend together. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's, it's unusual for us to stay that long without seeing each other. So that's going to be nice to see everyone again. Um, and then on Saturday, I also have to go get tested. You know, that thing where they put, uh, they put a Q-tip up your nose, which honestly, I've, I've already had to do it uh, a couple of times and it's not that bad. It's kind of like when you're in water and, and, and you swallow a bit of it, but it goes the wrong way. You know what I mean? I don't know how, what's the word in English? Well, anyway, it's like that. Basically, it's really just like that. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, and it lasts literally like two seconds. It's like boop, 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 done. Um, and when it's done, yes, you can still kind of feel, you know, some something uncomfortable for it maybe what, like one minute. It's really, really not as terrible as I thought it was going to be. Um, at least it wasn't for me. Now, maybe I, you know. I got lucky because I know that some um, nurses, doctors, um, some are better <laughs> than others for this. I know some people are being like super, super careful and others are a bit more like, like a bit more not violent, but um, so yeah, I, I guess it depends on who you get <laughs> but me personally it was fine um and so yeah i'm getting tested and the reason is that on monday i'm leaving for a vacation i'm going to bulgaria with my sister her husband and her three kids they're actually already there and um, we're meeting them. My dad, my stepmom, and myself. We rented a big house for all of us. And we're just gonna spend a couple of weeks there. We have a pool and I'm gonna see my little niece. I also have two nephews from that sister, but my little niece, oh my God. She's five, she loves me. I love her so much. We, we, I already uh, visited my sister in Greece in, uh, back in May and we just basically spent the whole time together. We just, uh, I cannot wait to see her. She's the, the best kid ever. Um, so yeah, that's definitely very exciting. Uh, I mean, I am of course excited to go on a vacation with my dad, which hasn't happened in a while and uh, to go and see my sister her husband and the kids. Uh, but it, it's also nice because the summer here in Belgium right now is not amazing. Apparently we're gonna get some better uh, weather soon, but for now it's really not amazing. In June, we had a few amazing, amazing days. I Actually two hot days in June where, remember I wasn't even able to film and I did tan a bit, quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, I feel like for the past, like two to three weeks it's been like raining like non-stop so it's really not fun um i watched the weather for you know where we're gonna be and it's like sunny 28 29 degrees celsius so that is going to be amazing uh that is also Part of the reason why I wanted to, for the past couple of weeks, I've tried to film a lot so that I always have a bunch of videos in advance. Because that way, when I will be on vacation, I will still be able to post. Maybe not every day. We'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll see how I feel about it. But um, yeah, at least I will be able to post every now and then. Um, and so basically as I'm filming this, like I said, this is Thursday, the 8th of July. Yes, it's, we are at the 8th of July. I'm leaving on the 12th and 
I I really don't know when you're going to see this video. I, I know that by the time you do, I will already be sunbathing. Because yes, I expose my skin to the sun. And I get a tan on my body. And I don't care what you say. So that is it for this little get ready with me. Um, this is going to be here, you know, like you're just going to have to get used to it. Try not to stare at the color for too long because I feel like it gonna, it's going to make you want to throw up. Um, but yeah, hopefully, I, you know, in a few days it will all be better. But in the meantime, just please keep on watching my next videos and just, just know that my hair kind of sucks right now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel because it's free. So why wouldn't you? And I will see you guys later. Bye.